Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to schedule a Zoom meeting. There are three different places to schedule a Zoom meeting. You could do it on the Zoom app on your computer on PC and Mac. That's the easiest way, I'm gonna show you that first. You could also do it on the Zoom website. I'll show you that second. And there's another option to do it right from the Zoom mobile app from tablets and phones. It works on iPhones and Androids. I have a separate video about that one, link in the description to that. Right now, let's jump on the computer and schedule our first Zoom meeting. Open the Zoom app on your PC or your Mac. If you don't have the Zoom application, just go to this website, zoom.us, and download it. Just sign up for free, and it walks you through downloading the app. Uh, then we'll come back here, and I'll show you how to schedule a meeting on this page, too. But on the Zoom app, it's really, really easy. You just press schedule right here. And let me walk you through some of the settings here. The topic would be whatever the topic is that you wanna cover in this meeting. I wanna cover my website here, I'll type that out. Put in the date, so whatever date that the meeting will begin and the time that it will end. So in this case, it's a 30 minute meeting scheduled for today. I could make this a recurring meeting too right here. If you have a weekly meeting, for example, you could just check this on, but I don't want to do that in this case. You could change your time zone. And meeting ID, I usually just generate this automatically. For security reason, you typically don't wanna pick a personal meeting ID. The generate automatically meeting ID will always change every time you set up one of these meetings. I always require a password, but you could change what password you put here. You can check this off, but again, for security reasons, it's best to put in a password. And by default, video is gonna be off for you and the participants of that meeting. They will have to turn it on. I always leave this on off as well. Audio, usually I just deal with computer audio, so I check this, but if you want people to call in with a phone number, you could just make sure this is checked. Then this is important for your calendar, your invite link will show up here and it will save to your calendar. So whatever type of calendar app you use, you select that. On a Mac, for example, I could choose iCal. In my case, I use Google Calendar, I'll choose that. Let me show you the advanced settings here. Click this, and by default, every time someone joins this meeting, they go in this waiting room, and as the creator of the meeting, you have to admit them into the meeting. I always recommend you leave this checked on. You could also automatically record a meeting. This is very useful, the last option. And then you have some other options here that you could read, but I usually leave everything checked off except the first one and sometimes the last one. I really don't want people to join before the host, which is me in this case. Then let's press schedule. And it will typically open up whatever calendar application that you chose and add it over here. But let me go back. I'll show you how I actually invite people. You can do it from the calendar application, but a really easy way here with the meeting scheduled, if it's for today, it will show up right here. But if it's for a different day, just come up here to meetings, and this will show you all the different meetings you have scheduled. To invite someone, all you have to do is press copy invitation. This will copy the meeting invitation. So the meeting room ID, the password, everything they need to know. And you could just paste this now. Let me show you, you could do this in chat. If other people follow you here in the Zoom application, look at this, I just go ahead and paste this right here. And it puts it all over here, the meeting ID, what we're gonna talk about, the topic, the date. If I press enter, this person will receive exactly this. They just have to click right here. Even if they don't have Zoom, it will tell them to download Zoom. And then they'll type in the passcode right here that be set up for this meeting. You could always email this too. Just copy the link there and email it. On the home page, it's always over here too. So you could press the three dots right here and copy invitation. Same thing as before. And you could always start your meeting early if people want to change the time and just show up right now. I could go ahead and press start and it will bring me inside of the meeting. On the Zoom website at zoom.us, you could do the same thing. Go ahead and sign into your account. And here we could press schedule meeting. It basically brings you to this page under the meeting tab. You could go ahead and press schedule meeting right here. Same options we had before, topic description, when it is, how long it is, your time zone, if it's recurring. It's gonna tell you that the free plan has a 40 minute time limit. So you will have to upgrade to a paid plan if you wanna increase that. That's when you have a meeting with three or more people. And the rest is the same things we looked at before. You got your meeting ID security code here for the passcode, waiting room is checked on. Video again is set to off for host, same for audio. So all of the things we looked at 
And here we could make sure that we mute the participants up on entry. That's a good option to check on. And if you want to actually assign breakout rooms, you could do this that you didn't have that option on the app, but you could do this at the time that the meeting starts too. So you don't have to pre-assign this, but you have that option here and just press save. And that's the way you do it on Zoom's website. And the first way that I prefer is on the Zoom app. Thanks so much for watching. I have dozens of other videos on how to use Zoom and other video conferencing platforms. I'll put that playlist below this video in the description. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.